women showing that the, the backhand surfing can score well. With Tatiana West and Webb, Caroline Marks winning right through to the quarterfinals. And in this one, with the back against the wall, it is going to be Jadson Andre getting things started. Smaller ride here at the moment, but he's working this one over. And all the competitors just down there in the Red Bull Athlete Zone absolutely chomping at the bit to get out there and get themselves a piece of some of the best waves we've seen this week here at Jeffreys Bay. And Jadson just working this one over. Nice hit there to finish. Uh, it's been a difficult event for Jadson Andre over the years. Hasn't been past the third round, and he's had a, a lot of runs at this contest. But I think his backhand surfing has just gotten stronger and stronger over the years, and the veteran might be uh, eyeing up his best finish at this contest. You know, he's going into these final two events of the regular season in a, a pretty relaxed mindset, as we see Matty McGilvray, the local boy who made the cart, the mid-year cart, with a big performance at Margaret River. And now he's starting to really light up his home break as he tucks into the barrel. He'll punch through the curtain. A low road exit there as he looks to build some speed for a big finish down the line here. Big hook off the top. Great extension through that turn as he climbs into the pocket. And you can see how comfortable he is with the pace of this wave. Great variation. And he's going to tuck into the barrel one more time. Can he push through the curtain? You know he can. What a start to this heat. The opening round for the man here at the Corona Open J-Bay. And it's going to be advantage Matthew McGilbray. In a big way. That was uh, excellent. We've, we've seen that type of wave uh, happen today, but he put it together, everything in there. Um, and that's why he's a title contender. Matthew McGilbray seeking the waves a little bit smaller, but what it's done is it's a little bit steeper, you know, and he's had to chase it on this moment there. He thought, oh, no, he's not going to be able to get around it, but he does, and it's just uh, amazing. I think if you're thinking about competing at home, um, this type of event at this time of the year is perfect, right? Because he's already qualified for next season. You know, he got in there as a replacement and able to, uh, I mean, this was just a full wave that had everything on it, too. These Both these scores see, feel to me like they're going to be at least excellent. It's going to be really interesting to see where the judges go on the scale because these were, were brilliant rides. Um, and, and typically in that, that opening heat of a new round, there, there's sometimes a, a little restraint. They have to leave some room here. But Matt was oh, on the attack. That was wow. really committed surfing start to finish. That was so sick. I mean, that was one of the best turns we've seen, even from the free surfs and uh, all of that watching. I mean, obviously, today is um, much better than we've seen since we got here um, you know it's three times bigger than anything we have look at that seagull into the screen here just amazing the wildlife and how beautiful this place is and uh, you know again just touching on how competing at home this is the perfect opportunity crowds behind you no pressure all you can do is just uh, please the crowd and perform yeah, that was uh, impressive stuff. Big motivator for Matthew McGilvray in making the cut was getting to compete at home. Relishing the opportunity to see Matty Strider, the crowd really engaged in this one. Wow, I was wondering what was going on. I would just hear people screaming and yesing off the beach. Out of the back, we're gonna hear, see some more amazing surfing. Though. The waves are just cracking. Look at how beautiful these walls of water are. Huge arc off the top right there. Look at these waves, unbelievable. Tail drop out of the lip, off the bottom. Bang, into the lip again. Wow, it is pumping out here, guys. I can't believe how beautiful these waves are. Griffin Colapinto really pacing this one nicely through the inside. Coming around the corner. Oh, well, a nice slice off the top. If the waves are beautiful, Griffin Colapinto is bringing the kind of surfing to match it. Uh, he is just looking so on at the moment. His equipment, Pete, is just looking so dialed in, but the confidence levels are sore. A much bigger wave than we saw Matthew on, uh, and the outside maneuver is so strong. But just look how silky smooth he is, and I, I love that about his surfing. Uh, he brings it to all the venues, even like beach breaks where you need to be a little tighter arcs. He is able to lengthen those lines in certain situations just like this. I mean, he's attacking the lip. That is so hard to do at J-Bay to get around this section. He does it. Um, you know, and Griffin, you know, all the venues, he is uh, one that can, can win the event, which is, you know, there's no real uh, chinks in his armor in regards to this style of surfing or going to pipe. And he's just slotted right in at home here, waiting for a, a number to drop for that opening ride. I think it's going to be a pretty good one. Griffin can expect a good score too. And we're now going to see Matty up again. So keep him busy in the opening stages here. And just really looking like he's on the attack, looking lively. More lively than maybe we've seen him 
ever before in a championship to a jersey, especially for an opening heat. He's going to be unsuccessful on that finish, though. But Strider just loving the energy these guys are bringing to this opening heat of the, uh, the round going to be sitting there performing in a perfect canvas. It's just so cool, and uh, why not enjoy it? Jadson Andre's got to get on pace with his rivals in this heat. Both Griffin Colapinto and Matthew McGilvray dropping 6.83s on their opening rides as Jadson finds some cover and comes flying out of the tube. Goes to that backhand carve. Now looking to set up some of those big, powerful backhand jams through the uh, super tube section down toward impossibles can he hang on to that final maneuver just loses it oh that was an opportunity right there that wave had the inside slow pace to it he would have been able to do beautiful hooks there to finish off that wave you know i think that that's really what it came down to you start slow mowing those snaps and you see where the fins were um, you know griffin was just getting into rhythm whereas uh, matthew seemed like he was on it and pushing hard right out of the gates well, sometimes the barrel here wants to clamp matt did well on his first ride to exit a couple of tricky tubes but can't get through this one as griffin gets up on the outside once oh. again there's a beautiful car very clean rails Something we've been picking up on Griffin surfing through the free surfing sessions. He finds some cover too and now looks to, to carry that speed back to the open face. Climbs up into the pocket and gets set for some big turns on the inside here. Big layback jam. This guy is so switched on at the moment and he has seriously entered the realm of title contender but still oh. needs to do work Whoa. in order to consolidate that position in the final five because last year he let it slip through uh, his fingers. We've probably had to wait since Margaret River to see big walls and the opportunities to lay rail like that. And I love that we get to see it because that was just so crisp. And then in this barrel, see how he stays high and tight, comes out of it clean. That kind of stuff right there is what the judges want to see in barrel riding, get behind the curtain. And then he goes and he does, again, a mission of just the vertical and then the layback. He has the carved and all of it mixed up with a great variety. You know, the only mix up here was just this very end section, which wasn't the easiest thing in the world. You know, he does the snap here and then it bottoms out and he goes down. He rides out of that one and we're seeing another excellent number. I think we're going to see some beautiful flowing surfing today. The, the surfer's style is going to shine through. But, you know, in those earlier rounds at Bells Beach was really the last opportunity. We saw the, the surfers be able to really flow rail to rail, one turn into the next. And this is just a, a treat to watch because... You know, the, the surfers are well and truly warmed up. For those surfers well outside the final five, it's the opportunity to really put it on the line for the guys like Griffin Cole Pinto. They're looking to really consolidate. But this, look at this. I mean, look at the arm placement. It's just pure as can be. You know, he's pushing that board all the way back, knowing that he has to keep it going down the line right here, kicking into the lip and using the lip to project him down the line. So he's actually getting speed down the line here and then just straight into the barrel. I mean, that combination of maneuvers right there, awesome. You know, he's disappears from view for just the moment. The nose of the board was there slightly, so not going to be a lot of points on offer for that barrel. 7.27 uh, for Griffin on that second wave, so getting some credit for that digging in, just that extra little bit on that opening maneuver. Matty McGilvray's right in this heat, though. Big slice from him, cutting right back into the bowl. Needs a 7.27 here. Steep section. He hammers it. Drives back up into the pocket again. What a combination on the outside. He's on his way to the required score here. Let's see how he finishes this right off. A really strong carve. This guy has great extension through his calves, but really relying on those big pocket hits at the moment to fetch the score required. And he's going to do well to hang on to the finish on the inside. Let's take a look at this one. I mean, you see how he, the pace of this wave had a little corner on it. It was going to turn and come back at him. That gave him like a lot more vertical face. And that went straight up. And then right again, straight up again. Layback snap, a little shift. And then this big opened up carve. He brings those arms out. Uh, stays with it again with the cutbacks. You know, it's so hard to do a cutback here at J-Bay. And he does snaps, cutbacks, big swoops. Uh, and his finish on the inside here too. Very critical section and he rides out of it. So, I mean, completed ride. Something setting up on the outside for Cola Pinto as well. Jadson's trying to make up some ground here. Lining up the tube through the inside. Does get a little bit of a, a shampoo there, but nothing too score worthy. But it is a decent finish on that final maneuver. It's pleasing this crowd. Jadson Andre on a little bigger way, but this one on the back end, it stretched out and it got a little too fast for him. I mean, he was trying to find the barrel, but it just didn't get behind it, which you need to disappear from view. A couple snaps there, though, that were nice. You know, and the whole time he knew that this section was really coming up, so he was almost looking in, down the line, you know, anticipating that he had to pick up that extra speed, especially with the back end. But beautiful finish here, getting the arms winding. 
And then Griffin on the outside section had to Whitewater. Oh. But that arc is just money again. Look at now, he's going straight up, goes into the barrel. Again, similar, similar combo that we saw him start off, but didn't get the barrel exit. I think it was really funny because Ross really wanted me to fight for the inside for the beginning. Sorry, Ross. <laughs> and I don't know, I just had a really like gut feeling that I should like shoot down and I did it and then a random set came and I got the first wave of the heat, you know, and um, I think that kind of put me in rhythm and the other girls kind of waited around and missed some really good waves. And uh, yeah, I'm just really grateful that I, I made that heat. It was a really difficult heat. I wasn't super happy with my surfing on the waves, um, but I got the job done. So yeah. Emerging from that white water, let's have another look at it. I mean, this was just uh, impeccable surfing. I mean, he really started to push. You know, he can't push too hard on that first turn, knowing that he needed to get to this point, but he's mixing it up with those two turns, just gouging in it right here. Again, compressing in the lip, keeping that speed, pumping down the line, and then that was just unbelievable. I mean, full round carve, snap with tons of speed. He held his speed through the maneuver. All of that right there, that was the money turn, and he finishes strong here, too. He knew that this is uh, an important way for him, needing an 8.07 to get the turn, and he's definitely asked the question of the judges. Wow. Yeah, really impressive finish. It felt like he, you know, was pacing himself. He probably didn't lean into that second move the way he would have liked, but man, that this fourth turn is money. This one just is, I mean, that was so crisp, um, you know, and that's the thing he brings is, uh, you know, this pace. And this one felt to me like he's even sped up a little bit. I mean, he felt like that 8-5, he knew that this is an important heat for him to get the win and get, uh, you know, the push into that round of 16. It's important. And then this finish, you know, the drift of the fins and falls with the lip hair, so easy to get knocked off right here. But no, he compresses right down low to his board to right out of it. The score's coming through, though, and it isn't going to be enough for wow. him. 7.57. I mean, he could take these first waves and try and force the issue of someone, which he just did right here, because now Jadson's taking and using his priority. Well, Jadson needs a, a perfect ride, and this isn't a, a big wave, so he'll probably just flow his way down the line, look to find that connection with this venue. Oh, what a performance from these two competitors. That is going to be the local boy who gets the jump in a, a very tough opening round heat. And the local crowd eating up that performance. Matthew McGilray was just on the attack in this opening heat, Pete. So cool to watch, you know. And uh, you think that he, like I said, you know, being able to compete at home at this type of venue with no real pressure. It was really all the game.